During these really uncertain times, I encourage you to seek your peace from the Holy Spirit. When Jesus was um, at the Last Supper with his disciples, he's telling them about things to come. And I guess you could probably sense that they were starting to feel a bit overwhelmed by that and maybe even a bit fearful. And in John 14, he says to them, and I'll pray to the Father and he will give you another helper. Also called the comforter in some parts of scripture, that he may abide with you forever. The spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it never sees him nor knows him. But you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you. He will not leave you orphans, I will come to you. There's so many promises in scripture about us receiving the Holy Spirit. And if you look at the fruit of the Holy Spirit in Galatians, it tells us that the fruit is love and joy and peace. And Jesus actually said to his disciples, it's to your advantage that I'm going. And I'm sure that they couldn't understand that when they'd had Jesus with them for three years. And to our advantage now is that we have the Holy Spirit. We have Christ dwelling in us. And one of my favorite scriptures is in Luke 11:13, 13, where it's a promise. And it's a promise that we can claim where um, Christ is telling us a parable and at the end he says you know if you are evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will the Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask so I encourage you ask the Holy Spirit to come and fill you when you're feeling anxious anxious when you're unsure of things when you want to know truth from Scripture just claim the promise that if we ask for the Holy Spirit he's going to give us the Holy Spirit let's pray dear Heavenly Father thank you for your word Thank you for truth. And we want to claim the promise that you say to us, if we ask for your spirit, you'll send your spirit to fill us. Send your spirit, breathe your spirit on us. May we fill with that love and joy and peace and patience and goodness and kindness and faithfulness and self-control that comes from you. Thank you. Thank you that you are always with us. You promised never to leave us nor, nor forsake us. And you send us a comforter because you knew in times like these we would be needing to be comforted. In your precious name, amen.